This, believe it or not, is a game called Gorsd. G O R S D. Gorsd. And you know, I thought it was time that we had some games that were properly Consylvania games. Do you know what I mean? Now, this is a Consylvania game. Try to escape the eye room? <laughs> I mean, could it be any more co- Okay, that was nice. Right, so Gorst is a game where you're a, a weak and a squid lady. This is the adventure mode of the game. They call it an adventure mode, a story mode. It's a single player mode, but essentially what you're doing is you're playing through a series of puzzles. So, you know, when I'm playing this game, I like to get very confused, by the way, because the sound of bird song in this game is so realistic that sometimes when I'm playing it in my house myself with my earphones in, I get all fucking freaked out as if there's birds in the house, but you don't need to hear about that. It's kind of not a normal thing for anybody to say, but it's just fucking true, right? You remember uh, Christopher Walken in the film Communion? He thought there was an owl in his house. Hold on a fucking minute, what the fuck is that? Uh this is Gorst. It's an indie game. Uh, and, you know, that's neat indie game can be normal these days. They all have to be trying to freak you as if you've just went up a flat in Shettleston, took some mushies, and you're like that. Oh, actually, no, it's like an arcade uh, puzzle game. Right, this review has already kind of gone out of control. Let's strip this back to the fundamentals. Gorst is an arcade puzzle shooting game. Who the fuck is this now? That's... I mean, I don't need to be hearing that when I'm playing a game. This is something I fucking know. I am inferior. This is something I struggle with all the time. You would think you would get to a certain age and you wouldn't feel inferior anymore, but here we are. Eh, fucking 43. Anyway, sorry. It's a puzzle game. It's, well, not a puzzle game. It's kind of a puzzle game and an action shooting game. You can move about as a wee dot. Your wee squid is like a wee dot moving about these lines, right? And you can also fire bullets. Bang! To destroy obstacles, and you want to colour the whole line in red. Your colour. Simple. Like an arcade game for the past. Look, here I am playing it against an opponent. The opponent is in blue, and you can run around and you can shoot them. When you shoot them, when you shoot the opponent, they explode. And when they explode, everything around them turns your colour. You follow me? It's very fast paced, it's very, very addictive, and it's, listen, it's fucking magic. Look at this. I am not going to lie to you. Gorst is a game that's kind of confusing when you first play it. It's so fast-paced and everything on the screen is so kind of small that it's hard to immediately grasp what you're doing, what you're shooting at, where you're moving. Look, this wee guy just beat me here. Uh, the victor is this little robot. Looks like kind of robot that Ryan would love. I'm not telling you that this game is easy because it is not. You need fast defeat and death. That's a bit fucking much. Anyway, you need fast reactions. You need to be uh, almost like Pac-Man-esque control of your wee character as you're zipping around, dodging the other guys, dodging the other bullets, uh, and firing your bullets. Are firing your bullets around corners as well is another thing you can do. And remember, you can shoot yourself with your bullets. Uh, if you press a button, you can pick up your bullet. You know, you can go and collect your bullet and use it again because you only have one. And if you if you play well. Uh, you get victory and uh, some disgusting images behind. Here you can see a game against two opponents. Even more difficult, uh, even more challenging, more intense, but my god, this game gets its claws into you. And I, I, I had never heard of this game before I, before I, I spotted it and picked it up and I, I'll be honest, guys, I like the cover. So I was like, I'm going to try this out, read up about it a wee bit read some contrasting things about it and thought I'm going to try it out and I am so happy that I did because there is just something quite special here. It helps that the mood is also kind of cool, you know what I mean? It feels like a cool game. It feels very much like a Consolvania game. Remember back in the day when Consolvania used to discover mad games? This is a fucking mad game we've discovered. It's called Gorst. Look at this wee bastard taking his time to finish me off. Go on, just colour it in, you dick. Bloody robots, man. Be in no doubt, the people who made this game are very proud of themselves. Uh, this is a wee library area that you can go into, and you can explore the 
the history of the game, the development of the game, uh, the concepts behind it, it's a really cool wee addition, and it's one of the uh, nice wee additions that just makes you feel, oh, I'm glad I've got this game. This feels like I'm part of a special wee exclusive tribe here, a tribe of Gorsters. Uh, here's another mode that you can play as well, there's like kind of different modes, different ways of playing. This is uh, this domination mode which is about uh, colouring in sections and the timer counts down and it's just brilliant. I mean it's set up for major multiplayer play and that's the other thing I love about this. Four player multiplayer. It's couch fucking multiplayer like old school like back in the day four people can sit around a couch and gorst each other the fuck up and again this is a game of skill I mean it is difficult to grasp you really need the kind of twitch reactions the shoot em up player reactions and you also need that anticipation of your opponent's moves it's really fucking solid video game stuff here folks and is also wrapped in this wonderful, surreal... I mean... I mean, it's... I mean... Okay, so... Anything.